Hello everyone, welcome to Bhuvigyan module and we have completed up to ternary system. Now uh, we will move to ternary peritectic system. It is just like uh, our peritectic system but here three components will be there. So what are those three components? Those are our anorthite, posterite and SIUT. So these three components will be here. Now this curve, this curve here, this one, this is known as peritectic curve and this curve here is known as cotectic curve. So cotectic is exactly uh, similar to uh, binary eutectic point but uh, uh, this is a three dimensional figure so that point behave as a line here. Now uh, if we start to crystallize, okay, let's say if we take this as a bulk composition that's say A. So if you calculate degree of freedom here, which is F is equal to C minus P plus 2. So number of components are 3. Number of faces here will be phosphorite and liquid that is 2. So plus. So here in Ignis we take here 1. So, one. so here it will come out to be 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So degree of freedom here is so this curve will move away from the first right so this curve will move away from the first right like this this curve will move away from the first right and it will reach here and it will hit the peritectic so reaction here at point a here reaction at point a it will be our liquid is giving us liquid one is giving us first right plus liquid to which I have written here okay now when uh, you hit the peritectic curve at that time at this point let's say at point B at point B you will get this reaction that is liquid plus phosphorite will give us liquid 2 plus anstite because from here from this zone your anstite will also start to crystallize now if you want to calculate degree of freedom here so if you apply the formula at point B, at point B if we see the degree of freedom which is F is equal to C minus P plus 1. So here it will come out to be number of component is 3, number of faces is your first right and straight and liquid 3 plus 1. So degree of freedom will come out to be here as 1. Okay, so we can only change the temperature. Now at point B reaction I have told this one now this curve will move toward the peritectic point means at point 3 this is our peritectic point peritectic point and, and this uh, before that was our peritectic curve okay so I will use a different color for here now this curve will reach here now if the initial composition here let's say here the phosphorite composition is more so what will happen at point 3 you will get this reaction phosphorite plus liquid 2 will give anstite plus liquid 1 so if you calculate the degree of freedom here at peritectic at point 3 so what you will get f is equal to c minus p plus 1 so number of component 3 number of faces here will be phosphorite anstite dioxide and liquid so 4 plus 1 so degree of freedom will come out to be 0 so this at point 3 if uh, uh, one phase will be consumed okay it can be phosphorite also liquid also then only the curve will move toward the d point but if the initial composition of phosphorite is more then liquid will consume first okay if the phosphorite is in greater composition or if the initial composition of the phosphorite is less then phosphorite will be consumed okay so so here either thing can happen and then this curve will move toward the point D which is this point D which is a eutectic point. So at eutectic also degree of freedom will come out to be 0 and the reaction let's say this is point 4 so the reaction here will be just like our eutectic that liquid will give us your anstatite uh, sorry anorthite plus dioxide plus tridimide. So this will be the reaction at uh, our eutectic point. 
so to calculate the composition how much uh, solid it crystallizing at any point we draw a tangent we draw a tangent here something like this and wait i will give this line for this one we actually draw a tangent so like this we draw a tangent and wherever this tangent is intersecting here we can calculate the percentage of crystallization of solid from the melt so this completes our ternary peritectic system